Put it in motion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, of course, it's a critical breakdown at your home by Billy Sloan. And, um, and I'm just taking some of the um, nicest artists that I personally listen to in my personal playlist from around my city. And um, we're just going to kind of dig into their latest project. And maybe y'all can discover something you never heard before, which is the purpose of the whole, you know, the whole purpose of going on Mondays. You know, and the whole movement is uncovering hidden treasures, man. But my dog really, man, been at it for a minute. One of the dopest, man. Not just the dope, one of the dopest MCs, in my opinion, in my personal opinion, but one of the greatest uh, performers in my book, man. I studied this dude, man. He, he really, he really be on it. And he got me inspired to where well, I was slacking at, because, you know, I was slacking in the performance area, because... I don't really get out. I hate getting out. But every time my dog called me, I try to make sure I follow through. And, and every time, it's like, I learn something, man. So, uh, yeah, man, just want to dig into all that, man. Uh, GFN2, good for nothing. Of course, when you see this, you're going to want to go back and do your uh, due diligence and you get the history on Goody Supreme, man. But right now, we're talking GFN2, good for nothing, too. Uh, I guess... Is that gonna be a continued series? Yeah, I'm gonna continue to do those. I like the little sample soul feels. I try to keep it in the same sound sonically. Yeah. Like I just like the way it feels. No, normally, short shot slam start those off. Mm, shot you know, slam. Like the first one, I tempered off, and when they got a track from Kata, you know, I got one from Kata. I got one from uh, my boy Dog Beats out of North Carolina. Yeah. But Slim on the second one, he just I had a couple beats there, like five, and when he played them, I was like, man, let me get all those. Yeah. He looked, he was like, all, all, let me get all those. Yeah. And because it all fit the sound that yeah. I was looking for, so. You know, I mean, I think y'all got something uh, kind of parallel to uh, Fab and the Soul Tape, man. Yeah. And I think that's uh, super dope, man. Uh, uh, my line, yeah, which is the first song on GFN2. What my, what's my line? Uh, before I ask anybody for, for shit, I get it out, get it out the mud myself. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Never fun. been the type to express our problems like publicly. Refuse to tell these people the reason why you don't fuck with me because of me. Your secrets are safe. Put that on loyalty. Well, I will be right there when you need. You can call on me. I'm always free for fam. Still consider you to be this way. Ain't seen my daughter in years. You once wiped the pee from K. But hey, through my flaws and all, I'm just glad you stood tall and Cause I ain't perfect at all, I'm just hoping that I'm worth it to y'all Through my flaws and all, I'm just glad you stood tall to Cause I ain't perfect at all, I'm just hoping that I'm worth it to y'all yeah, When you said that, I'm like, man, that really resonated with me, man So what, what, what was your... I guess motivation behind that particular part of well, the verse. That was on uh, "Keep on Loving Me." My bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's right. Keep, Keep on, on loving me. me. I'm sorry. Like I, I was, I was going through a point where I was really on that song. I was just talking about all the stuff that I know I'm, I'm flawed at. Mm -hmm. I got a lot of flaws, yeah. and so it was like one of the that's one. Like I'm, I'm stubborn. I'm a Taurus, so I'm stubborn. If y'all believe in the zodiac, you know what I mean. Like yeah. I'm, I'm, I am stubborn when it comes to that. Like I won't ask a lot of people for nothing, no matter how I feel or what I'm going through. Like, I struggle alone in silence, but you'll never know, you know? Yeah, so, yeah. like, that's where a lot of things, you know, like, I, it's a bad trick to have sometimes, because I sit at right. home and I You're sit right. there in it, you know? Yeah. So it's like, but when somebody come around, you won't tell that you won't know the difference, you know what yeah. I mean? It's a bad yeah, trait, but. Well, I mean, you know, the whole song ain't just about that, man. What what, what, what motivated that, 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 that song? Oh, uh, just some issues I had with, like a lot of things that I just yeah. never talked about. I felt like that was a way to free, just to free it up, yeah. get, get it off my chest, you know? And it, it was yeah. like a world of weight coming off when I did it, you know? So dig it, man. from everything, everything in that song is true. Like nothing, it's so, just something I was living at that time and I was like, I need to put this out, so. Yeah, man. That shit dope, bro. That shit dope. And then, um, who told me? Uh, I think it was uh, Teddy White. Shout out Teddy White again. He called me, I think we saw the first episode with the Unger. He was like, man, you know, uh, I feel what y'all saying. Uh, the Bible say, I'm not trying to get religious or anything like that, but the Bible does say the prophet is without honor in his own hometown. Uh, 
So, I mean, you can take yeah. – it's up to you to interpret what that may mean for you, man. But, you know, I think uh, you – on my side, it's our love, man, because yeah. I fuck with this shit. Now, I'm sure there's many other people who feel like me. And you know, I was saying the same thing myself, man. Like, um, if you watch that episode, like, man, I want, I want more respect, you know, from, yeah. from consumers. I'm not worried about the other artists or – Necessarily DJ, but I'm talking about the people who actually are fans of the fans music. Of the music yeah. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I tell you, I just think it co- comes back to doing stuff like this, uh, yeah. creating our own platforms and putting stuff out there. Like you out there killing, it, it, you know, any any appearances. You doing that, man? And I got, I, I took a note from you. I got to really, you know, get back in the gym, so to speak, when it comes yeah. to the music. Thing, you know what I'm saying? So, it's all. It's like working out in the gym, man. Right. You know, if you right. do it enough, it's gonna come. Yeah. You know? yeah. I think I don't think a lot of people practice enough. I still practice at home in the mirror. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I'm still a kid when it comes to music. I still do the same yeah, thing. That's I, did. Something I need to, I need to do. Yeah. Man. I have time. Like I record. I I go through periods where I record so much. I record a song, never listen to it again. You know, what if somebody call me for a performance? I'm slipping. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because I, I gotta get my material down packed. And people, they jump in my car sometimes. They're like, man, you listen to your own stuff. I like, well, I listen. I know Outkast songs front to back. Front to back. Front to back. Like, then I get on stage sometimes and don't even know my own verse. Right. You know what I'm saying? Same so way, man. I had to get to a point where I listen to my stuff. Right. I know. I yeah. got to listen to it. If I don't listen to it enough, I won't know it. Yeah, you right. know so. So, we, so we went through talk my shit again. Keep on loving me. And I think the uh, other one is. Dream. Like, Tell me about Dream. Man. What's, what, what inspired that one? Dream was like the last thing I wrote for that project. And it's just sometimes when we don't think about our dreams the way we think about everything else. Most people think about working, they think yeah. about, and I don't think we inspire our kids enough to have the biggest dreams in the world. We oh, inspire man. them to go straight to school. We inspire them to go to work. We inspire them to do so much other things other than dream. Once they start dreaming, you start saying, hey, won't you do this first? You know, won't you do, we, we constantly put a plan B in place instantly. Instead of trying to inspire their natural dream, what they really want to do. what you can and can't do. Hey man, you gotta listen to yourself. Yeah. Do what's best for you, homie. Yeah. Let's go. Don't let nobody say what you can't do, cause they can't prove that they can too. Can too. Yeah. It's okay to understand their views, but damn the views is hampering you. Hampering you. Yeah. It's the man in the mirror, you prove what you can do to change the rules. Change the rules. Uh-huh. If they don't get it, then you gotta level up the only way for you to change the views. You gotta elevate, yeah. elevate. Through the roadblocks, there's a better way. Yeah. After every rainstorm, there's a better day. Yeah. And every bad game, there's a better play. Yeah. After every dime fall, should levitate. Yeah. Keep fighting the battle no matter what you weigh. Yeah. Showing up with your gloves ready for every day. Show. Sure. Throwing punches no matter heavy your featherweight. Yeah, fuck how small the wind, you gotta celebrate. Dream, dream. Think about if you had somebody, mind, Yeah, think about if you had somebody when you were younger, you knew you wanted to do music. Just knew that's all you wanted to do. You wholeheartedly got behind you the same way they got behind you when you was, when they were pushing you to go to school, yeah. pushing you to go to college, uh, go to pushing you to team. play the mill. Yeah, yeah, if they got behind you the same way when they hear your dream or hear something that you really, really passionate yeah, about. That's deep, man. And don't nobody do it. So I was like, man, don't let nobody tell you what you can't do, cause they can't prove that they can too. And that's how I feel about it. So I ask my daughters every day, like every time they get in the car from school, the first thing I ask them is, you know, I ask them about their dream first. Then yeah. I ask them about how was school. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So yeah. that's just how I go about it. I still want them to have their dreams. You know. Yeah. We uh we're on the same wave, man. Two uh, two different methods. Yeah. That's deep, man. That's deep. You got me uh opening up like I'm on a uh, uh psychiatrist <laughs> couch, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. man. That's, that's deep, man. I, um, and it's a dope ass flip on that sample too. Shout out to them for that. Oh yeah. Uh, what we missing? Uh, follow through. Oh yeah, follow through, man.
when I first heard that song, I knew who I wanted on it. All right, my, like I'm gonna get Kata, Slum, Flame. I just knew who I wanted on it. Yeah. And then it came together just the way. It, and Megan, shout out Megan. Man. Oh, she, shout she out to Megan, man. Hook. Yeah. She ripped. She yeah. like, like effortlessly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Megan, we still gotta work. Still Megan, gotta get some work. We gotta get Megan. We gotta get Megan in the lab for real, man. Yeah, Sit down yeah, and get a focus on. Yeah. Super dope. Put yeah. on a project, man. Super dope. Uh, so yeah, man. That's one of my yeah, favorite uh, songs on there, man. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I'm one of my favorite songs on it. Cool, cool. I'd like to hear other people on my project, honestly. You know. Uh, one of your highlighted features for me, man, is shout out uh, Pat the Ripper. Yeah, Pat the Ripper. What's that yeah, song? Yeah, oh, right? Mama Told Me So. Mama Told Me So. My mama told me so. I never go to places I don't post it. Go. And never fuck with no one I don't post it. No. Plus, I got it on me, so approach me slow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to my father, although I never met him. I'm headed to the goal like Beckham. Catch him if you can. I always knew I was the man, but them haters only love you when you're sitting in the stands. That's the truth. You can see the problem with the fruit if you're looking at the tree and it's rotten to the root. I know that's a little deep. My mind sleep like an incline. Everybody got his own. Right now I'm in mine. My brain storms like flame throwing their pain forms. I'm cold blooded. My veins. Warm. What's the concept behind that one? Well, it's just, uh. You know, things that your mama told you that you didn't take heed of until you got older. I'm like, dang. That, that was... So you brought that to the table? Yeah, I brought it to the table. I had I hit up uh, Mel and Leo, and I told him the concept. Then I hit up uh, Pat, told him the concept. All I, that's all I did. I just told him the concept. I told him, you know, I'm going to end every line where uh, mama told me so. I told them the concept and they they came through like they yeah. came through and did the thing. Yeah, I, I, I was like especially having to hear Pat Ripper man. Yeah, you, you don't really hear that guy. He's like a you know what I'm saying like a, a myth, a legend. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you, for you to pull him out the woodwork, and, oh, he was ready too. He was ready. I know <laughs> yeah, he stayed he ready. Came man. ready Shout yeah. out Pat, man. He was sharp. He, he yeah, came man. in ready. And, and, he, and then after that, he got fifty more verses played if you need. <laughs> yeah. He one of them guys, man. I respect that man. You know, he still, even though he be kind of like out of on the low a little bit, he still keep that arsenal ready, man. Yeah, I like that. I like all them guys, man. Yeah, Black everybody Leo, 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 uh, some nice, Leo, some nice yeah, artists, yeah, man. man. Rip, rip. What's good to listen to right now, man? What's in your current playlist? Right now, what I'm listening to, I, I'm listening to a lot of R&B right now. Besides, the only rap I have been playing was uh, Griselda. I'm in the like we was just talking before the camera. Yeah, man. What just you talking about that, man? I, I, I love it, man. Like I've been yeah. on that. Like I told you, I was on that smoke guilt and Benny the Butcher yeah. album. Uh-huh. You know, I'm on that real hard. But as far as anything else, it's Snow Allegra. I'm on her real hard. She's an R&B artist. I, I love her. Her album is dope as hell, man. Like it's a yeah. really dope album. What's the name again? Snow Allegra. Snow Allegra. Okay. Yeah. She, I'm about to check that out. Dope. Yeah. yeah. I'm either on that, and I've been going back listening to stuff that I missed. Like reasonable doubt was so underappreciated by me, not by everybody. I don't know how everybody else feel about it, but I went back and started listening to Reasonable Doubt. That is a great. That's a good album. Like that's a great ass album. Like to this day, I just I went back to. I wasn't a big Jay Z fan when he first came out because I was a pop fan and I was a whoever pop whoever pop, pop said, like you ain't yeah, like yeah I ain't gonna pro- I, that was me no, you that guy. so I, I missed a lot of it and yeah. then I you know I got on them artists later so I missed that I've been on that Illmatic I've been on I've been on that in Illmatic like hardcore like today when I was pulling up I just been on Nas and Jay Z just listening to them. Yeah. Like I told you before, like Street Disciple is my favorite one. Wall is my favorite one. Like I don't change it. Okay. I don't change my favorite What's new favorite? My new favorite right now is I Am. Yeah. I love I Am. I've been on, I've just been on out of, you know, I've just been going back listening, man. Just, yeah, man. Uh, I, 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 um, I haven't really been listening to nothing but uh, the late great Nipsey Hussle. Listen to him. Uh, oh yeah, a whole lot of new, a whole lot of uh, shit. What the hell have I been listening to? So new. I know you uh, told me you went down to Brazil to rap. Yeah, but that was like, like literally, like I'm so late on that, man. Yeah. Uh, I was uh, on um, 
Who did I listen to before uh, Nick? When I was on the hall. I was on uh, Young Thug album. I, I get to check that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, you got some, some dope shit, man. Uh, and then I started going back to listen to uh, Big Boy album. Big Boy got some nice albums, man. Yeah. He got yeah. some real nice albums. So I after I got out the, you know, of course I always keep nipping the rotation, man. I went back to um, that Ross album, gave it another listen. That shit he got with uh, the new shit he got with uh, Gunplay. That yeah. shit's so stupid, man. And then, um, then I came, I stumbled up on uh, Brazil. I forget how. I don't know if somebody shot me a link or I saw it on somebody's timeline. I clicked on it. Like, who the fuck is this? I mean, I had new like the individual names because yeah. I seen them like on freestyle, like on YouTube. But the Zelda name, I, I didn't really, I didn't really catch on. Oh, I thought like Conway, I thought them guys was just like strictly like battle rap. I thought they was on that vibe. When I seen that like project after project, I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, nice man. That was him. Like nice, reminiscing, man. reminiscing of like why. We started doing this shit. Yeah. yeah, it was needed too, man. It came right yeah. on time. Like, and it's showing, and it's proving that it's proving that that shit is marketable. Yeah, yeah. they they yeah. they're doing their shit. And that's the And they move together, man. So yeah. you know, it's yeah. so if you move at a unit, it's, it's showing. What it really, what it really showing. They from a small town, like we from yeah. a small town. And everybody think really it's showing what we need to be doing. And everybody think it take one. They always put out music. All yeah. of them at the same time yep. putting out music. They just move this one. Yeah. You can put out music. Everybody can put out music. Yeah. But if you move this one, it's gonna move. It. Cause everybody goes, you shit, know. Man. You can every. It ain't gotta be one person who we get behind. Everybody put out music. Just move like we. If you move like we together, we're gonna be together. That's all. It, that's all they doing, man. And they move. Yeah. Them boys move. I respect it, man. Anything else you wanna leave the people with, man? Man, look. Y'all, everybody, man, if, if you got something you want to do, do it. You know, as long as it's positive, especially if you're a creator, don't stop being creative. You know, some, your artist definitely appreciated by somebody, trust me. Photography, videographer, singer, producer, rapper, whatever you do, man, you, you continue to do it. Don't let nobody tell you when to stop doing it. Continue to do it, you know. As long as your heart's in it. If you got passion, a passion for it, do it. Just don't lose that fire, man. Just do what you want to do. You know what I mean? You got one life. You ain't coming back. You understand what I'm saying? Do do you. Word from the Reverend Goody Supreme himself, man. So what's next for Goody, man? Oh, first of all, tell them where they can find your current project and any more you can, You can go to... Uh, of course, I got this, this on any streaming service you can find me. You know, I got singles here and there, but for the GFN project, uh, goodysupreme.bandcamp.com, or you can go to that piff, Goody Supreme GFN. You'll get GFN 1 and GFN 2 on there. But really go to goodysupreme.bandcamp.com. All my projects are there, all my songs are there. So, yeah. Hit so, definitely support the brother. Tell them how they can find you on uh, social media. All social media string. All social media is Goody Supreme. G O O D I E Supreme. That's on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, YouTube. All the same thing. G O O D I E Supreme. Yeah. yeah, I want to shout out uh, legendary BJ Bar. They let us shoot in here, so that I think that was super dope for them. Uh, definitely much appreciated. Uh, we ain't done though. I still want to talk about what's next for Goody, man. Now I'm working on a, a project now. Shout out to Chaz, man. That guy been working for the longest. Mm -hmm. If you go to uh, iTunes or whatever you listen to your music on, we got a song "Can We Go," and we dropped that in 2017. But we've been working on a project from, stemming from that mm -hmm. forever. But now it's like I told him, it's three years removed. He has worked on all my projects though. All the projects that I got out right now, Chaz recorded, engineered it mixed it so we have been working but the stuff that he's produced it's time to put it out now oh yeah so we got Shout something coming Chaz. later this month like we, we got something coming later this month before the month out you'll get a single it's called off my mind it's featuring chaz and it's gonna try to put together a body of work and i want to put it out in february that's what i'm looking forward to I'm, cool i'm, I'm trying to I'm, i want to put it like february the 10th 
I, I think if I give myself a deadline, I'll put it out. I ain't been giving myself no deadline. Right, well, he just put it out there. So yeah, this is you the first one. No, February tenth. So February tenth. A new body work from the uh, other yeah. the Supreme. Man. Hey man, look, I ain't got nothing else to say. I am Billy Sloan. Make sure you follow me on uh, Instagram and Twitter at Sloan World Order. All one word, Sloan World Order. Facebook, you can find me at B I L L I E space S L U M. Billy Sloan, man. And it's all love. Critical breakdown. Uh, shout out to Icon Media. That's what it is, man. Here you go.